Welcome to my new channel here on YouTube. My name is Jonas Wikström and I am a Swedish math teacher. English isn't my favorite subject, but I do as best I can. So please be nice in the comment. Here we have a really nice problem. It's an exponential function and we are looking to find y intercept in this task without calculator. Can you do it? Pause the video and do write a comment below. Exponential functions can be written with these letters. They are usually the letters uh, we are choosing in uh, Sweden. So what does it stand for? X is any point on the graph, of course. E Y is uh, the same point. In Sweden we call it E, not Y. <laughs> and um, C is the Y intercept. And we are looking for C. C is the point here. And A is the growth factor. And we want to find C. But the first step we want to do is to find A. So, how do we find A? We're using the same formula, but in a little different way. The first step, we're using y equals c times a raised to x, but c is the first value, the value of the first point right here. So c is the value 2 right here, this one y is the second value the y value of the second point so which is the second point it's this one and the value of y equals 54 in this first step and x is how many steps are between these two points so when we go from 2 at the x and go to 54. No, go to 5. From 2 to 5, it's 3 steps. So x equals 3. So, in the first step, we set up the following equation. 54 equals uh, 2 times a raised by 3. And how do we solve it? First, we want to divide by 2. It's always the first step. So divide by 2 and we get 27. And on the right side, a cubed. And uh, now we're looking for uh, some value that if we take a and times itself and times itself again, we want to have 27. And then we found out that 3 times 3 times 3 equals 27. And then we know that a equals 3. This can be done without calculator. a equals the cubed root of 27, and it will be 3. So we have done the first step. And now we are ready to calculate c. Now we can use the function as it's supposed to be, where c is the y-intercept. Not like here, not like the first step, but c, e e c is uh, this point. So we set up um, the equation again x and y is any point on the graph. I can choose between this point or this one, but this is simpler, so I choose this one. And the x value is the 2, and then put, we put uh, in the x box, and the y equals also 2. So we set up 2 and 2, and a equals 3. So the equation is like this 2 equals c times 3 
squared. And then we have two equals c times nine. And if we do a division by nine on both sides, then c is all alone on the right side. And on the left side, we have two over nine. And then the answer to the question, which point equals the question mark. The x value is of course zero and the y value is two over nine. Did you uh, do it without calculator and without my help? Give yourself a thumbs up uh, on the comment below. And uh, do like the video if you want to see more English videos, videos from me and uh, perhaps with better and better and better English because my English isn't so good at the moment. Bye bye. See you.